Okay, so the food intolerance test is called ALCAT. Linda Markley owns any lab test now in Fort Myers. It is not an allergy test. Instead, this test claims to find what foods you're sensitive to based on your body's immune response and your blood to what you're eating. Jeanette Stutzman had her daughter tested when she couldn't get rid of her eczema. Now she's highly sensitive to gluten and dairy. So she took those things out of her daughter's diet and... But within two weeks of removing these things from her diet, she cleared up. And once the test is complete, they send this kid out in the mail. And in five to ten business days, you get these results, which shows you what you're sensitive to. And that technology takes, ad, uh, takes advantage of recent advances in molecular biology. Despite the results, Naples gastroenterologist Dr. Raymond Phillips says these tests don't have enough research to back up their claims. The information that's generated is uh, doesn't really have any relevance in terms of predicting whether a person will react to a particular food. An idea supported by the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology saying the ALCAT test is an unproven diagnostic test for adverse reaction to foods. Despite the research, both Stutzman and Markley say they're big believers. And once you remove these things from your diet, your gut heals. It's really a good test. And they encourage others to research food sensitivity tests for themselves before spending the money. In Fort Myers, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now. The ALCAT test starts at $269. It is not covered by insurance.